Hey, it's Sullivan and welcome back to another video. It's no secret, I'm a nerd. I love video games. I love animated films. I love Japanese art. Today I thought I would share with you guys some of my favourite homewares that are a little on the nerdy side. So I'm going to start off by showing a couple of mugs because I love drinking tea. This is a Yoshi egg. It's massive. It's perfect for a massive cup of tea in the evening while playing some video games. This isn't my first Yoshi mug that I've had. I had another one exactly the same as this that I got off of Groupon for like £8. I went to take a photo for my Instagram one day and I had it resting by my leg and my phone fell out of my lap and into the mug and it just completely disintegrated. Link knew how much I love this mug and he lovingly replaced it for me so thank you very much. Speaking of Link, we also have matching player one and player two mugs. Uh, these are really good for like a coffee in the morning so I don't like to have a massive mug of coffee in the morning, I like to have it in something like this. So we've got player one and player two. I'm the player two. You can get these mugs from most places online, Zabby, Amazon, even the PlayStation Store itself actually sells these. I've actually seen these in person in shops as well, so I've seen them in Forbidden Planet, Game, and I think Primark as well. So this is a bit of a weird one. These are Pikachu Espresso mugs. The reason I say this is a bit weird is because I originally got these from Smith's Toys, which is a children's toy store. They call them mini mug sets, however the ticket on the shelf said espresso mugs. I imagine that they are advertising these as like a child's first mug, so like the baby chinos and for like little like hot chocolates and things like that. I'm going to use these for espressos. I'm not a massive espresso drinker, so this is why they're still in the box. But you never know, I, I might get around to wanting an espresso one morning instead of a cappuccino. Now this one is an absolute gem of mine and I am so happy that I have this and that I'm actually starting to use it. I've got this cutting board here that is shaped like a NES controller or NES controller, whatever you want to say. Excuse the massive scorch mark. Link somehow managed to set our steamer on fire and burn water and then put it on the board, which is made of wood, so it got scorched. I believe this came from TK Maxx. This was actually a housewarming gift from a couple of friends of mine, like absolutely years ago. I had it on display in my old kitchen for ages. It was only when I moved here that I decided that we should start using it. We don't ever cut anything directly on it, we actually have like plastic cutting boards that we use on top of it to preserve it, which is why there aren't loads of cuts and scratches and things in it. Just a massive scorch mark. It's fine. It, it really is fine. It's still awesome. And the final kitchen item that I'm going to show are these salt and pepper shakers. Uh, they're Lilo and Stitch. Lilo and Stitch is one of my favourite Disney films. I got these gifted to me by a friend who found them in a charity shop. I don't actually know where you can find them nowadays. My friend Kim from Kimmy Shrine tried looking for these on eBay before and struggled. These are probably quite a rare item to get so they're not leaving me anytime soon. I don't actually use as salt and pepper shakers. I just have them on display. So moving on, we've got a bit of an unusual one here. This is a candle that I have. It's a Sonic the Hedgehog themed candle. However, it is a Halloween themed candle as well. It definitely has an autumnal smell to it. I can smell clove and possibly orange as well. It doesn't actually say what it has in it. I got this from the Sega Europe store online when it was on sale, so I don't know if it's available on their website anymore. I can't stop smelling. What home isn't complete without some lights? And I was really happy when we got these. If you haven't realised, it's a PlayStation light. Uh, they're neon light. I can't turn it on right now to show you guys but I'll include a little image or photo of it lit up because we actually use it via USB. 
You can put batteries in it as well, but we've just plugged it into the back of our TV, so when we watch TV, we can have the light on as well. And the other light that I absolutely love, and definitely makes the home feel a little bit more personal, is this Velociraptor light. Velociraptors are my favourite dinosaur. I am a massive fan of Jurassic Park, and this baby Velociraptor light, the minute I saw it in the range, I had to have it. I have slight questions about his arms. His arms probably are a little on the small side and he looks a little more like a T-Rex, although his face is very raptor-esque. Let's just say he's got deformed arms. Now as I said earlier, I love having a big mug of tea while playing video games in the evenings. I also love on a cool evening or during the winter to wrap up under a blanket. I end up wearing blankets as capes normally so that I can still use my hands because I do a lot of knitting, obviously I do a lot of gaming, I do a lot of drinking tea. I need my hands while doing these things on the sofa. So I tend to wear a blanket as a cape instead. I need blankets that are rather large and this one definitely fits that bill. This is my Lilo and Stitch blanket that came from Primark. This was gifted to me last Christmas from Kim over on Kimmy Shrine. As I said, I can wear this as a cape. It works quite well still have use of my arms but also my arms are covered so they don't get cold. This is quite a thin blanket, I do have thicker blankets so I tend to alternate between this blanket and another blanket that I will show you right now. So this blanket is a little thicker, it's a Sega Streets of Rage blanket, it's actually the original box art for Streets of Rage and it's now on a blanket. This actually came from the Zabby store. They had a Sega Mega Drive Classics collection on their website a couple of months ago. One thing I will say is they are quite pricey for them. Yes, they are good quality. Yes, they are quite thick. If you have pets, do not allow your pet to make a nest in this. If they scratch it up, claw marks do show. Luckily, with this one, it kind of looks like the artwork. I actually struggled to find the scratch marks on this. These white patches aren't actually part of the artwork. These are claw marks. When I sit on the sofa with a blanket, Penny will sit next to me. What I tend to do is I will move the blanket from under her so that I have a little bit more. Don't do that with something like this. Her claws were obviously within the blanket. She was tangled in said blanket and made a couple of white marks. It's fine, it's absolutely fine. As I said, it kind of looks like the artwork anyway, so it's it's okay, we're all right. And finally, so I'm sat down, I've got a blanket around me, I might need something to support my back. What about a stitch cushion? Can you tell I like Lilo and Stitch? So again, Penny also likes using this, so the eyes are kind of covered in hair. She's a ginger dog and her hair goes everywhere. She's also molting like crazy at the moment because we are about to go into summer so she's having her big summer molt so there is hair everywhere. This makes my sofa look pretty um, and it also supports my head. This is quite a plush cushion so there is a lot of support in it. This came from Disneyland Paris uh, quite a few years ago. I have seen similar stitch cushions in Primark. The only difference is this is a reversible one, so you might have noticed there are some slightly pink ears on the back. That's because you can have stitch or you can have angel as well. That's my reversible Lilo and Stitch cushion that has been very much loved because the label is dead. And that's it for homeware thing. I would like to do a couple of honourable mentions right here, somewhere on the screen. I've got a Bulbasaur succulent plant pot holder on the way. It's coming from Wish, so I hope that it does look like this, but that's why it's not here now, because it's coming all the way from Wish, all the way from China. This is Sullivan in the present day. Uh, I've just been editing and I mentioned about me not having Bulbasaur but you can see behind me it arrived today and it is perfect, it's really good condition, there was actually a hole in the bottom of it um, for drainage and everything so I have put a succulent in there and yeah it's, it's great, well done Wish. Also 
bedding. My sister had this Digimon bedding. I ended up using an awful lot more than her. She grew out of Digimon and I grew into it, per se. Any opportunity I would have this Digimon bedding. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. I'm going to end this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will list everything that I have mentioned today in the description. I will try and find where you can find most of these items if you are interested in them. Please note I am not sponsored by anyone on this video, I am just sharing my favourite accessories that I have in my house. I'm getting sidetracked, I'm going to end the video here and I will see you guys next time. Bye!